What is refractive surgery and how is it performed? The refraction of the eye means whether you're long or short-sighted. So if you can see in the distance without spectacles on, you're what we call emetropic, so you don't need spectacles, you're neither long nor short-sighted. You will still need spectacles for your reading vision and certainly your best reading vision, but most of the time you can walk around without your spectacles on. If you're long-sighted, then the eye doesn't focus the image onto the retina, and what it does is it focuses the image behind the retina, so too far away. And that's why you need, effectively, magnifying spectacles to pull that image back in. And that means you're long-sighted. Everything's blurry at every distance and you can't see anything. If you're short-sighted, or myopic we call it, that means that you have a minus prescription on your spectacles. And that means that the light is focused too far in front of the retina. And you need those minus spectacles in order to push it further back and onto the retina. Some people get fed up of being long-sighted or short-sighted. You need contact lenses, you need spectacles, you're very contact lens and spectacle dependent. The short-sighted people can actually see things close up, but everything else is blurry. So sometimes they can read without spectacles on, but need spectacles for distance. Refractive surgery is all about taking a patient who can see with appropriate correction, spectacles or contact lenses, and allowing them to see without those contact lenses and without those spectacles. It's because we change the refractive power of the eye. Now, there are two main ways we do this. Laser refractive surgery, you may have heard of LASIK or LASIK, or we do intraocular surgery or refractive lens exchange. Really depends on how old you are. If you're less than 40, then laser refractive surgery is probably the best option for you. And the reason for that is because your lens is still elastic inside the eye. And because it's elastic, it still changes shape. That means you can see in the distance and see close up as well. So if we change you to see set safe distance most of the time, then your lens can fine tune you and then you can read. Once we get beyond 45 though, our lens becomes inelastic. So it doesn't move or change shape. And that means that your distance vision may be okay, but your near vision is impaired. And your arms, you have to move further and further away until your arms aren't long enough to actually allow you to see properly. That means you're presbyopic. In that situation, if we did a laser on you, would set you for distance, but you'd still be presbyopic and therefore your reading vision would still be impaired, which is frustrating. There are techniques that we ca can use whereby we use clever lenses in the eye to try and set you for distance and near vision at the same time. It's something called premium monofocal lenses, multifocal lenses, trifocal lenses, bifocal lenses. There are lots of options out there. All of them carry different positives and different negatives. But really, we see you and assess you to discuss that. But both of those things are refractive surgery, laser refractive surgery, and also refractive lens exchange.